Hello, I'm Kate Findlay from Arts Findlay and I just want to give you a little demonstration today on how to do some free motion stitching. The first thing is that you need to set up your machine in the correct way. So instead of having a normal straight foot, then what you've got is an embroidery foot. And an embroidery foot can be a little hoop, uh, sometimes it's a horseshoe shape, so different shapes, but they'll do the same thing. The other important thing is that you drop the feed dog. Now, not every sewing machine can do this, so you'll need to check your manual to see if that's possible. So on this one, I've got a lever that works underneath. I'll just put my hand underneath there and click the lever across. And so the teeth, the feed dog, has gone down. I've got an ordinary black thread ready to use. I just wanted something that's going to show up because this is just a sample, it's a trial. One thing that's really worth checking is that you've got a new sharp needle in your machine. That's probably the cause of the most problems with missed stitches if your needle is blunt. Uh, and actually, do check to see whether there's any lint and fluff underneath the, the bobbin area as well, because that can cause problems too. OK, so I've got a piece of white fabric here, and what I've done is I've got a piece of white felt, and I've bonded the white fabric to the felt just to hold it in place. Uh, so that's using a fusible web. Now, if you really haven't done much free motion stitching, then you'll probably want to have a little practice. You can just literally start to move the fabric around and draw like that. Or you might actually want to use a, any pen or pencil, but this is only scrap, and draw some shapes and have a go at following them. So for example, I'm just going to quite literally draw a few designs, maybe some wiggly lines. Try anything. Draw a few simple shapes to help you work. But before I get on to those, let's just start with some very free stitching. I'm going to find my foot. Now it's not about speed. You don't have to go really fast when you're doing this sort of stitching. So start slowly at a speed you're comfortable with. You're moving the fabric and the needle is obviously just going up and down. So you've got a need to be able to grip the fabric, fabric firmly to move it. So here we go. So I'm just taking this really, really, really slowly at the moment. What it's about is making sure that you get the speed of the movement tied up with the speed that the needle's going up and down. So let's just speed that up a little bit more. So when you get more confident, you can start to go a bit faster, but you don't need to, to start with. So you can see there that I'm drawing with the, the thread. Now also, I'd say the tension's not quite right, so you may find that you need to adjust your tension slightly and experiment, try moving it one way and the other and really get the best tension for your work and your machine. So let's just have a go at following a couple of those lines. So line that up and then see if you can follow your drawing. Oh, now my thread's broken there. But there you go. So I'm just literally following my drawing there and I can just use that as practice. So it's a really good idea to draw yourself some simple shapes or leaf shapes, anything you like, uh, and then have a go at, at tracing the, the shapes that you've drawn. Uh, but use a thread that shows up, as I said, I've used a black here, um, and then you can really see what you're doing. Just have a play. So have a bit of fun with it. I'm Kate Findlay from Arts Findlay, and you're watching The Craft Store. <laughs>